Welcome to Forgen's Preclinical Research Overview. I'm excited to walk you through this comprehensive research plan as we prepare for human clinical trials. As you may know, Forgen is dedicated to reversing the physical damage inherent to male circumcision through advanced tissue engineering techniques, which offer outstanding potential to regrow the human foreskin. Our primary goal is to complete all remaining preclinical objectives necessary for advancing to human clinical trials. The project is comprised of four key milestones, collection of donor tissue, dynamic decellularization, dynamic recellularization, and bioreactor maturation. Preparations for this project began in November 2024, and based on our current timeline, we expect to complete these milestones by the fourth quarter of 2025. Thanks to your incredible support, we've already raised more than $100,000 through our recent GoFundMe campaign, enabling us to pursue this historic research. We'll be providing quarterly forecasts of our research progress, along with monthly updates. Now I'd like to introduce our core research team, led by Dr. Stanislav Zurayan. Dr. Zarayan is a urological surgeon and distinguished researcher in regenerative medicine from Komenius University in Bratislava, Slovakia. As an associate professor at Komenius University, Dr. Zarayan brings valuable clinical expertise to our project. He has recently co-authored innovative research on foreskin tissue engineering published in European Urology and is leading efforts to collect and process donor tissues for this project. His credentials include MD, PhD, MPH, and he is a fellow of the European Board of Urology. Working alongside Dr. Zarayan is Jan Kobach, a PhD candidate from Comenius University. Jan has extensive experience with bioreactors, 3D bioprinting, and tissue engineering. He's spearheading the technical development of our bioreactor system and optimization of our decellularization and recellularization protocols. His background includes work at the National Institute of Rheumatic Diseases, where he has been conducting research since April 2022. His previous role at IQVIA provided him with valuable experience in clinical research protocols and regulatory compliance. Here's our research timeline. We've structured our work into four sequential but overlapping milestones beginning in January 2025. Tissue collection and dynamic decellularization will each require three months. Dynamic recellularization will take four months, and the final bioreactor maturation stage requires six months. To increase efficiency, the first three milestones are being conducted simultaneously. It's important to note that milestone four may be interchangeable based on our chosen strategy. If, for example, our experimental data suggests the bioreactor maturation technique is not as effective as we'd like, we may instead opt to pursue the in vivo burying method technique previously studied in Italy. Because we will have two tissue maturation techniques to choose from, this is a strategic overlap that allows us to maximize efficiency when applying for ethics approval while maintaining scientific rigor. For our first milestone, we'll focus on collecting donor tissues. Currently, we plan to collect 15 to 20 in total for this project. The redundancy ensures robust and repeatable results. Our main activities include defining donor criteria, establishing collection methods, and developing storage and transport protocols. We're carefully documenting all procedures to create validated protocols that can consistently be replicated. The outcomes will include validated protocols for tissue collection, successfully collected and stored donor samples, and a detailed database containing comprehensive metadata for each sample. Our key focus during this milestone is protocol adherence and maintaining sample integrity throughout the collection process. The second milestone involves dynamic decellularization. 
This critical process removes all cellular components while preserving the extracellular matrix structure. We're using an innovative dynamic decellularization strategy and are conducting extensive tissue analysis through histology, scanning electron microscopy, and biomechanical testing. Our goal is to achieve minimal variability across samples with absolutely optimal outcomes. No residual cells, no chemical residues, completely sterile tissue that's ready for recellularization. We aim to develop a device that can consistently decellularize samples to the same high standard every time. This standardization is crucial for both scientific validity and regulatory approval. In our third milestone, we'll focus on dynamic recellularization using stem cells. This involves seeding the decellularized scaffolds with appropriate cells to regenerate functional tissue. We're identifying optimal growth factors and visualization methods to track cell integration and development. Our team will conduct detailed tissue analysis throughout this phase to validate our protocols for cell culture, differentiation, and tissue characterization. Key outcomes will include validated protocols for cell culture and differentiation, along with fully characterized, recellularized tissue. As with the previous milestone, the analysis methods will include histology, scanning electron microscopy, and biomechanical testing to ensure the quality and functionality of recellularized tissue. The final milestone involves bioreactor maturation of the recellularized tissue. Yan is developing a strict protocol to ensure consistency across large numbers of tissue samples. This approach is critical for to ensure success in human trials and to potentially scale up to treat many patients in the future. We'll optimize bioreactor components, develop effective tissue maturation methods, and conduct comprehensive final analyses. This phase produces the protocols for implant-ready tissue in the fully characterized samples needed for clinical testing. Our bioreactor approach offers several significant advantages over alternative methods. It eliminates the need for a two-stage surgery, creating a safer and quicker procedure for patients. The controlled environment leads to more consistent tissue preparation, and the standardized process improves our regulatory approval prospects. Consistency in high-quality production is essential. The bioreactor system could allow us to treat many patients with close to exactly the same quality of tissue, which is crucial for both scientific validity and patient outcomes. Looking beyond these preclinical studies, our next steps include finalizing the surgical plan for human trials, partnering with a contract research organization, creating the study design for human clinical trials, and applying for ethics approval. We understand the importance of maintaining comprehensive documentation throughout our work to support these regulatory submissions. The combination of Dr. Zirin's clinical leadership and Mr. Kovac's specialized expertise in tissue engineering positions us strongly to complete all remaining preparatory steps for human clinical trials in a timely and cost-effective manner. This partnership represents a significant step forward in our mission to develop a regenerative medicine solution for circumcised men. Thank you for your support of Forgen's groundbreaking research. We're committed to maintaining rigorous scientific standards while advancing this innovative regenerative medicine technology toward human applications. Through our collaborative efforts with this capable and innovative research team in Slovakia, we're making significant progress towards our ultimate goal of completing human clinical trials. We'll continue to provide updates through our website and newsletter as we reach each milestone. We welcome any questions about our research plan and appreciate your continued interest and support in this historic undertaking. If you would like to support our historic mission to develop a regenerative medicine solution for circumcised men, please click on the donate link in the description below. Your support is greatly appreciated.